Welcome back, everyone, to Silver Run Forest, episode 12, with me, Farmer Cop. Um, so, if you remember last episode, we have a new home right here, owned by Richard, the guy we're renting uh, from here, who has this whole, excuse me, this whole big shop area and set up like that. Um, since you last saw me, it was still morning, but it has since, well, it's since snowed. So, uh, first order of business is going to be uh, to try to get up to the top of the uh, iron mine to uh, hopefully haul. Does this have a very dark insight? Yeah, it's not as dark in here, so this isn't as bad, but it still is not probably great for recording. Is that door open? Let's get that shut. It's cold out there. Uh, but yeah, so anyhow, I'm very thankful for uh, Richard um, letting us work here at his shop. He said he is going to bring over some uh, snow equipment, and he wants us to clear the snow out because he wants to actually start using his shop. So um, we will be doing that for Richard. I don't know how, how much he's going to pay us to do that, but uh, we'll see. But for now, we're going to try to get up to, well, the top of the mountain. Well, not the top of the mountain, I guess. Well, you know, you know what we're trying to do. We're trying to get up to um, haul another load of iron so we can make a little bit of money that way. I don't know how much forestry we're going to get to today. Now, obviously, this episode will do some forestry before the end of it, I'm sure. But uh, today's main goal today probably is going to be to clear some snow out for Richard. And then, oh, gosh, this truck is just it does kill me going up hills. It's the worst. But regardless of that, um, I'm going to get us up to the mountain and then I'll see you guys there. But uh, yeah, so. Again, we're going to haul some iron, and then we're going to clear some snow, do some forestry, and that'll probably be what we get done this episode, but we'll kind of see. So I'll see you guys here at the top of the mountain. All right, we are pulling up. So we're going to have to get our uh, our conveyor belt set up here in a second, so we can probably pull a little ways away from it, give it some time, but there's definitely, hopefully, enough metal here to uh, get us set to go for a load. Let's turn this baby on. We go there we go let's get that right about there wherever it's going to put it into the truck maybe a little bit further out there we go oh wow i grabbed a lot really quick that was kind of strange i'm assuming there's more there than what we're seeing it's kind of a strange uh that was kind of a strange happening we'll just kind of have to see what this does in terms of filling it up still going so I, I don't know if it just magically picked it all up but that was kind of a weird glitch that we just saw there so uh, we may have to pull the uh belts away from the uh iron in the future to make sure it doesn't have those issues but um yeah full load here should be three thousand dollars extra in our bank account which i know isn't a lot but that's still helping pay off the truck if we do this once a month which we should be able to keep doing um and if we can't get a full load we'll prorate it for whatever it is that's just how it works for us so it'll be fine so I'm not too worried about it, but it's still picking up a lot. So I think there's more here than it thinks is here, if that makes any sense. But uh, I don't know. It's very strange. Oop, I don't want to get in there. I want to get in the truck. Already at 11, 12,000. But regardless of that, I just want to bring you back in and kind of show you what we had going on up here. So I'll get this taken care of and I'll probably bring you guys back in, honestly, um, when it's time for us to hopefully do some snow removal for Richard. So um, he does say that he has the uh, truck down there for us right now. Um, a little plow truck or a little plow setup. I, I don't know exactly what he's got going on, but I will be able to go check that out and hopefully use that and get that taken care of for him. Um, but yeah, so, and he does say he's going to try to buy some new equipment at some point. I'm hoping we get to use it instead of the equipment that he has now, because that would probably speed up our uh, forestry a little bit if we had a little bit better system or a little bit better setup. But I don't know. It's kind of kind of up to him if he lets us use it or not. Uh, he may charge us a greater premium if he gives us better equipment. I'm not sure. So we'll kind of have to play it by ear. But anyhow, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, we are pulling back up to the shop. It looks like there is a beautiful looking little plow truck there. Um, I think we don't want to park inside there yet. We want to probably clear some snow out first. So let's go ahead and just park this off to the side. Turn that baby off and get in this plow truck and get this snow cleared away for Richard. So we get hopefully paid at least a little bit. Um, I don't know where we're going to put all this snow, to be honest with you guys. Um, lower that oh boy okay so we'll see how this goes so far so good i guess we're falling snow uh oh boy things a little touchy Maybe like a concrete slab there yep i knew that was gonna happen oh won't let me plow off of that that's interesting it's okay we'll clear everything we can okay oh wow yeah this might be more difficult than i had imagined we're just destroying his new shop um but we're gonna make it happen you know because that's how we do it 
Please sound like real life. This doesn't drag snow backwards. Always that would have been bad what we just did. I think the problem is this thing has a lot of speed to it. I gotta be a little careful here. There we go. Okay. Perfect. I think if we just push this out of the way here. It's interesting we can't plow it off of that uh, cement slab there that the power washer's on. But that's okay. It might just it might just be because it's a texture or something on there. Instead of like an actual, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even what I'm talking about, so just ignore me. Everything's fine. Um, I do want to kick some of this over, I think, a little bit more, though. Yeah, let's get that. Okay. I know I'm not doing this probably the most efficiently. I've always I've always had a dream of like uh, it'd be um, I think I would enjoy plowing snow in real life for briefly, not long term. I know it's a stressful job for those of you that do it, but uh, I think I would enjoy the satisfaction of clearing the snow away because there's something just there's something just satisfying about getting all the snow cleared away. Can we do a little in cab with this? This might be a terrible idea. Yeah, I can't see anything behind me. This is absolutely awful, and this is where I would have issues in real life, too, probably. This is probably not the best truck setup, either, for plowing snow. We can just push some of this over off the... So that's kind of interesting. It goes through the fence there. But we can probably just push some of this out of the way there. That probably makes a little bit more sense than doing what we're doing. I don't want to take the fence out, though. And honestly, forward, let's go ahead and just lower that cruise control speed way down. That might help us out a little bit. That might be too much still. Yeah, that's far too fast, I think. But at least that's a manageable speed. I think if we lower it down to like maybe 12, I think 12 would be more sustainable for us. Oh, we can put on our snazzy flashers. I like that. Yep, 12 seems to be much more sustainable. And it's still getting everything, which is nice. And this plow actually works really good. This is uh, the TLX uh, 2020 by 82 Studio, in case you guys were uh, wondering. 82 Studio does some amazing mods, and this one is no exception to that rule. Gonna turn a little bit into it there. Beautiful. Worst case scenario, if this mountain gets a little too high, we can, uh, we don't necessarily have to do this the way we're doing it. But this seems to be working pretty well. I think just, uh, maybe one more pass on this side and we'll probably be good to go. Here we go. And perfect. That looks way better. That actually looks really good. Now, the problem is the stuff in front of the shop, we're going to want to clear the other way. We want these doors to be nice and clear. This I'm going to do nice and gently by hand, hopefully, most of it. Slow acceleration here. I probably can just stop there because that pole's there, and I think that'll be okay. Back out of there nice and easy. Oop, well, we're gonna back right to that pole. Okay, we'll do just a run up this way real quick. Now, I don't want too big of a mound in the middle right there, so I will finish this row out here, just getting this stuff scooched over. And then I think we need to try to work around this pole here. Get up nice and close to the shop, as close as possible without hitting it too hard. Thankfully, there's no actual damage in this game. Always, that would be really bad. I think if we just push that over there, that would be great. Now, our area is the least of our concern because that's just where we live and we can deal with the snow if we need to. Richard's area where he has to work is our primary goal because, well, that's our employer. So we need to get that taken care of as best as possible. And we are doing really good. So far, so good, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with actually how this is going. I didn't think this would go this smooth. I do need to get a thumbnail shot of us doing this. Cause I think this will probably be my thumbnail for this episode. Let's get us like maybe halfway. 
maybe like right there and let's go ahead and just in case you're wondering how i do thumbnails it's very straightforward honestly but i know i've shown this off a couple times but i'll just do maybe like right there like, yeah that's a good that's a good thumbnail shot right there you guys have probably seen it since well you saw it to get to this episode but regardless of that there we go hopefully it's loading okay and did i get it yes i did a beautiful thumbnail shot right there we'll go ahead and uh save that as silver on forest 12. so there we go since episode 12. and then i will pop out of these various modes we get back in and we will continue So far, so good. It's actually doing a really good job at moving this much snow, because that's a lot of snow in front of it. Actually, a little surprised about that. But this is going, this is going, honestly, a lot better than I would have expected. This is probably my best uh, snow clearing job I've done so far in FS22. So that's saying something. Well, actually, honestly, it's not. I've done some terrible jobs, so <laughs> this is definitely probably my best one yet. And again, I don't anticipate Richard will pay us a lot to do this. He provided the equipment after all, and well, he's done us a favor by allowing us to uh, live with them. But uh, regardless of that, I'm still thankful for that. Uh, oh, and he also did ask if I could move all the the skid steer stuff into one of the one of the shops. He said he didn't care which one; he just wanted it to be put inside since he does own that skid steer. And then um, I'll I'll call him again. I know he has some other equipment up and out and about in different places. He might want help uh, moving it down here or that's something he's working on. I don't know what he does every day necessarily, but uh, he gives us a lot of tasks and I'm okay with that. Um, I do know he has other forestry operations and stuff like that, and he does do forestry regularly, but uh, again, we're just a con one of the many contract workers probably that he has that does forestry work for him. Um, again, you guys have seen his bank account. He's got $7 million in there, so I know he's done a lot of forestry, but uh, regardless of that, I believe he has more operations than just here on Silver Run Forest, but I think this is his main operation. Did he get in my drift? All right, but I would like him to buy some new equipment and let us use it. That would be fantastic. Um, that would be honestly amazing. But I also don't want to get too spoiled because if we are using nice equipment, then we eventually buy cheap equipment because we're not going to be able to afford the nicest of the nice. Right off the bat, that might be kind of a bummer. Oh, and I should check. Nothing new on sales, probably. No, nothing. I don't know why I even checked, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but maybe because I'm like a sales buying addict. And we did get paid. You should notice our money did go up by three grand um, because we did get paid for making that uh, delivery that we're supposed to make of the iron. I don't know how long this snow will stay here. I mean, we're just in the beginning. Of, honestly, we're in the beginning of... Uh, winter time here so we still have january and february to go and second half of december for that matter so we still have quite a bit of time left in winter time so there's a good chance we'll be doing this again if it keeps piling up but hopefully we can keep all of richard's operations underway for him if at all possible since well that's what we should be doing for him let's see if we can let's see if we can do some in cab i think we can do a little bit in here I think if we just drive straight back, we should be able to see when we need to get over. Oh, will we just crash into the fence? So that's one way to, oh, no, 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 no. Easy does it. Make sure we get all of it. Actually, we did do a pretty good job there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I have been trying to do more in cab, and I know I haven't done as much in cab as I said I would probably do for this series. I'm just so used to playing, uh, without doing uh, in-cab stuff, so I do apologize about that, but uh, you need to get better about doing more of it. I just hit the fence again, of course. We honestly probably should change courses here. We do want to probably clear out to that, uh, well, that fuel area. We want that to be clear for Richard to be able to use. Let's get that guy. That's definitely something we don't want to hit. We can avoid it. Let's do another push here, get this last little bit get out of the way there. And then I think we we can drive over the top of this without hopefully having too many issues. Flip the plow up a little bit there. I didn't want to push too much of it, but it 
now of course I'm making a, a huge mess now. Uh, let's see if I can. There we go. And then drop that back down. That pushed out of the way of the fuel pump. We'll do another one just to get all that extra stuff in there that we're kind of missing. Oop, don't hit the fuel pump. So our one goal here is to not hit that fuel pump. And I, it is a little bit weird in there. I think it's not letting us get quite, quite... Well, actually, it's a little bit lower. That's why it's not letting us get it. Do that. We might be able to get a little bit more. There we go. That was perfect. All right. Get that pushed out of there a little bit more. Sorry, you guys are probably bored of me moving snow. Um, well, yeah, you guys are probably bored of me moving snow. I've been doing this for a little bit, so... I will continue. I will finish up this. Um, I'll give Richard a call, see what else he wants us to do today. I'm, and honestly, we're fine with doing forestry today because I had a lady that's already in the day. It's already one o'clock. So uh, hopefully tomorrow in game, we'll get some of that done, but maybe we'll get some stuff moved down here for Richard. So I'll see you guys later on. All right. So we got everything moved in except for, I need to move this stupid trailer in over there. So I should just grab the truck real quick. I'll grab the snow plot truck. It should have a hitch. Yeah. That should be fine. We moved the bobcat in here, moved our stone crusher in here, and then we moved this all the way down from the mountain. This took forever to get down. Uh, Richard was very kind. He paid us $2,000 for our work today. Um, given we're going to move that trailer real quick. Uh, we got all the snow cleared, including over there, and everything looks, honestly, it, looked, it came out really good. Um, it is a little late to be doing probably any forestry. It's actually not late, really, per se. It's just very dark outside. So I think we are going to, oh, we're going to hold off. We're first going to try to get this trailer hooked up. But I think we're going to hold off on doing any forestry until... There we go, we had it. We're going to hold off on doing any forestry until um, tomorrow in game because of just how dark it is. And then we're going to try to get... I mean, it'll be a late start, honestly, tomorrow as well because we'll need light to, to work. So I don't like doing... It's it's honestly, I'm, I'm not a big fan of doing all the work at night. So now let's get that folded up, though. Did that folded up? Yep, it did. Okay, perfect. Um, let's go get this parked. I think we'll just... Richard said he didn't have any issues with this being outside, so I think we'll just park it over here. If he doesn't like it, we can always move it later, but uh, just to get it at least in the shop yard here. Of course, I'm throwing snow everywhere now. But uh, yeah, we'll park it just... Uh... There's no rear lights. That I should have known. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, boy. Easy does it. Easy does it. Yeah, like that. That should work just fine. Um, we'll get this parked up, and then, yeah, tomorrow we'll get a jump on doing some forestry, hopefully. Uh, wintertime kind of sucks because it gets, well, for one, it's snow that we have to compete with, and for two, um, well, let's get all this closed down. Uh, but, yeah, not only do we have to compete with snow, we get very short working days, so it's kind of a kind of a bummer. Um, and Richard said he does know some of the farmers in the area as well, so he said he should be able to hook us up with a couple of jobs uh, with them, hopefully. But I think for now, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Um, just while you guys are in here, we're going to switch back over to our account. Actually, I need to do that. Let's join that farm. You can see we went up again by two grand. Um, we're going to take out our $75 for our night sleep in here. Um, paying rent. Going here. Maybe if I can get in there. Um, and yeah, I will go ahead and get a, a good night's rest. Uh, cook up some food, relax a little bit. Honestly, we have plenty of time. I need to go to bed yet. So I'll probably stay up, have a, you know, nice relaxing time maybe play a little bit of a uh, farming simulator on my computer here in the house but uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the morning all right well it is the morning just finished watching some tv and some breakfast slept in a little bit stayed up late last night playing farm sim of course um oh my goodness and we have another set of snow on the ground oh this is the worst i didn't even know this was going to be the case well um i we probably should get it cleared out probably uh, I'm assuming that's what uh, Richard's going to want to do. I'll just get it cleared out for him. That's just the right thing to do. So, oh, goodness gracious. Let's get this opened up. This guy fired up. I can't believe I'm doing this again, but, you know, that's okay. Richard's been good to us. So, let's get to the right thing there. All right, and we can just probably just... Honestly, ooh, what am I getting stuck on? Oh, the, the, the chop, of course. That checks out. Just, uh, goodness, that just, like, it, like, hooks me around there. The, wow, I don't know why I'm getting... Kind of forced me into that wall. I wasn't even trying to steer into it. 
Oh goodness, now we're stuck in a wall. Well, this is going well so far, I would say. Let's see if super strength can save us, because I don't know how in the world we got in this predicament. I can, thank goodness. Thank goodness super strength was there to save the day. Uh, anyhow, without hopefully getting stuck on the wall again, I'm just going to plow this out. Oh boy. Plow this out to here. And then I am going to go ahead and get this done. You guys don't need to watch me do this because you guys have already probably seen this too much. So on that note, I am going to get this all plowed or renoed and get it cleared up. And I will see you guys when we can hopefully do some forestry. Because I, I honestly I was not planning to do this, but uh, I'm hoping Richard will just pay us a thousand bucks. Uh, or at least half of what he paid us yesterday or some, just some amount of money uh, to get this cleared out. So I'll get this done and I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, so... It is cleared out. We're going to take our truck up and see if we can't do some forestry. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. Oh, we are almost out of fuel as well, so we're going to need to get that at some point. I know there's a fuel tank there, but it's Richard's fuel. We're not going to use that for our personal rig. Um, let's go ahead and head up to our uh, site. Thankfully, it's literally just right up around the corner, so it's not too far, which is kind of nice, quite honestly. Um, I'm thankful for that, at least. Um, let's see if we can... So it's not that one. It should be the next turnoff. Next dirt road turnoff up here. Yeah, right here should be where we're going. This road doesn't have a lot of snow on it, which is actually pretty nice. These roads in the wintertime would be absolutely treacherous in real life, but this is we're doing pretty good right now. And there's all of our equipment. Again, Richard hasn't bought any new equipment yet. He said he's going to wait till probably springtime. Um, or maybe he'll do it later this winter. We'll just kind of have to see. But he said he's not quite ready to do it yet. Um, there we go. Turn that off. Um, I don't know how this is honestly going to go. Let's get in here. This thing does have some pretty beefy... I don't have my steering wheel right now in front of me. This thing does have some pretty beefy wheels. I definitely don't want to be pulling things up the uh, hill. Uh... That tree right there we could actually probably take down pretty easily. Let's go get that one real quick. Turn this baby on. I think we could grab this one real quick right down here. Big one, that is, not that little guy. I didn't think it would let us grab that downy service berry. I think that's what that one is there. There we go. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be driving uphill um with this thing over some snow oh we don't want to tip it either easy does it easy does it let it settle gotta be real careful here so far honestly not the worst uh we probably should back our truck in actually um that will probably work a little bit better with loading it so if i have to do that here in a second um we should have brought the plow truck maybe up here to clear this off but that actually, so far, this has gone a little bit better than I thought it would. Or, yeah, this has just gone better than I thought it would. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to jinx us too bad here. Uh, let's see if we can't grab another tree. I do need to wrap up the episode here, though, soon. Because we are pretty much pushing up against our time. We're probably a little over the 20-minute mark right now, so it's usually right where I try to wrap it up. Let's see if we can't get one of these guys up here on, on the hill. Oh, gosh. This thing needs to get repaired. I need to take this somewhere and get it repaired. So again, I don't know if Richard wants to spend any money repairing it, if he's going to sell it, so. I think this tree is going to be too big for us. Oop. Maybe not, though. We'll see. Yep, that tree is too big for us, so let's go up here, see if we can't grab this guy. Now, these guys are pretty far up here. So we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit of a risk. Oh, never mind. We're not gonna take a risk. This is already about to tip over with one tree. Oop, nope, don't go that way. Oh, I shot it back too fast. Ooh, please don't tip. There we go. We hit that tree. That tree helped us out quite a bit. Uh, let's try to drive straight down the hill. I think that'll probably go a little smoother for us, maybe. I don't want to hit too many of these little rocks and stuff either. I might ask Richard if I can take his uh, bobcat up here and take care of some of this. All right. Is 
dump this off right here. Easy does it. Boom. So far, this has gone uh, far better than I thought it would. We have two trees right there to be loaded up, but we are going to wrap up the episode right there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.